Hello everybody and welcome to some more BD Armoury. Today we're taking a look at, well, sort of an alternative version of BD Armoury. This is a, a fork off of the main branch that has been produced for uh, Scott Manley's excellent runway project. Um, it's by the same people. Uh, I am reliably informed that uh, many of the changes will be sort of uh, transferred across to the uh, to the main branch of BD Armoury. So this is this is kind of a preview of the, the next version of BD Armoury, which I'm assuming will be version 1.4 of the mod. Uh, in the background you can see a fight I staged between uh, two of my own Red Hawks and two of Legged Lax Prototype 9s. Uh, the first version of this I recorded uh, turned out to be unusable. Of course it did because my Red Hawks actually won, uh, so uh, here's the version where my Red Hawks get minced. Those of you familiar with BD Armoury will already be able to see a whole host of just visual changes already, some of which are self-explanatory, uh, some of which aren't. There's far, far, far too much to get through uh, just in the one video, so we'll be concentrating on sort of things that have changed with the AI and options for uh, craft developers, and even then there's, uh, there's far too much to get through, so I'll, uh, I'll try and pick out the interesting stuff. Uh, I am reliably informed that there's a whole host of other stuff in the works for BD Armoury. We'll discuss some of that towards the end of the video. Uh, this version is available to download. I'll put a link to that in the description. But um, yeah, let's uh, let's head across to the space plane hangar. So here we are. I've loaded up one of my Red Hawks. Um, now there is a kind of manual documenting many of the changes that have been made to the whole AI thing. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description. Um, to get the most out of this you will need to turn on advanced tweakables. I know many of my viewers will already have done that, but for those of you who've never messed about with it, it's not on by default. To turn it on uh, you need to go into settings from the, the start screen, not any of the in-game screens. Just um, click settings, find the, uh, find the right button, make sure it's on, click accept and uh, and you're away. With that sorted, let's get into this. Um, so we're just going to click on our little autopilot unit here. Already you can see there's a whole bunch of new options there. Uh, first of all, I just want to take a look at this glorious button, though, called Unclamp Tuning. Um, because without it, you know, maximum speed is limited to, what, 800? Just click on Unclamp Tuning. You want to put the maximum speed up to 3 kilometers per second. You can. Uh, take off speed 2 kilometers per second, why not? Uh, default altitude, well into space above Kerbin. Um, <laughs> I don't think you're ever going to specifically use those three like that, but it, uh, it certainly adds a little bit of flexibility in there. Um, now on to some of these new options here. You can see there's BD Armoury, uh, turn radius terrain, and there's a min and max version of that. If your craft keep crashing into the ground, uh, this new BD Army does uh, involve uh, an improved ground detection uh, routine, so it should stop it. And if you find it's still crashing into the ground, you can just um, increase these two values a little bit, and that should help. You no longer have to just keep whacking up the minimum altitude until the problem disappears. Uh, the other thing which I think is nice is that there is now a... Um, and a little, uh, little options for the evasion. Uh, evasion is obviously where you're under gunfire and your craft is trying to uh, pull some evasive manoeuvres. Now, previously, that was, uh, as I think is covered in the manual I, uh, I mentioned a little, a uh, little while ago, was actually quite rigid and quite limited. This does allow you to uh, have a bit more control over that and a bit more control out over how your perform, uh, how your craft performs. Uh, however, the most interesting option of all the stuff that's been introduced here is this little one here allow ramming which kind of does what it says on the tin if your craft exhausts all its weaponry and this is enabled it will then attempt to ram the enemy and well of course we're gonna go and have a look at that now okay then i've set up a little test here i've produced an unarmed variant of my red hawk um, you for unarmed it's got no missiles no ammunition i've turned off infinite ammo so hopefully when i turn guard mode on the uh, the ai will recognize it's got no weapons left and will try and slam valentina's craft into into jebediah's let's um let's see what happens yeah immediately ramming speed appears in this little vessel switcher which now evidently serves as uh, more of a status updater as well. 
Uh, now this can be a bit tricky, they don't always get it on the first try. In fact, <laughs> I've done a few of these. Um, I've tweaked various values with the uh, with the uh, with the autopilot, and yeah, they never get the first try. This is looking promising. This is looking promising. Uh, yeah, this can this can sometimes take a while. I wouldn't really rely on this as a method of uh, as a method of combat. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, once again, just behind. Okay, one more attempt. Let's see what happens here. Oh, it's looking good. Yes, just destroys both craft. Or at least they both disappear from the vessel switcher. I think Valentina's craft, despite being the, um, the Reming craft, came off worse. Yeah, I think I need to I need to make a few more uh, a few more tweaks to my craft before they'll uh, they'll be effective rammers. And I'm not sure if it's really worth it, seeing as you might want to optimize your craft for general combat anyway. But yeah, certainly. Uh, Certainly a fun little addition there. Anyway, let's uh, let's go and see what else this new and improved version of the mod has to offer. Okay, we're back in the space plane hangar because there's a couple more things to see, a couple more ways to uh, to tune the AI that I think I should show you. Uh, during that last little little experiment, I did mention the extend behavior. You can turn that on or off just here through that button. Uh, you can control it a little bit more. We do have this uh, little slider here which will adjust that behavior. Exactly what that done that does will uh, will be explained in a bit more detail in the aforementioned manual link down below. Um, yeah, but for those of you who really, really like to tune the performance, the behavior of your craft, and I mean really, really like to minutely fine tune it, there's another option for you, and that's called dynamic damping. Normally we have steer damping up here, uh, which is just, it basically makes sure your craft doesn't overshoot its target as it's trying to line itself up for a shot. Um, but what this does is dynamic damping adjusts the damping factor based on how closely aligned your craft is with its desired target vector, sort of the angle to target. If we uh, click that on, um, I can't remember exactly what each of these options is, explained in the manual, um, but it gives you, it gives you uh, three little sliders here to control that. Uh, but that will do everything equally to both the yaw, the pitch and the roll axis. If you really, really, really want to fine tune things here, you can click this little button and you get it for each of the three axes. Yeah, I'm not sure that's a level of depth I'll be going into uh, just yet, but uh, by all means, feel free. Anyway, I think that's all the major stuff, all the major new stuff with the AI out of the way. Uh, one of the things I was told has changed is the behavior of missiles, more specifically the sidewinders. I've been told they, they're not quite so difficult to dodge anymore, so I just want to go and set up another experiment and uh, test that out. Uh, originally I was going to do this just as a, a single fight commentated on as live, but uh, in the end I decided to uh, just do a whole bunch of fights, uh, make it a little bit more scientific, uh, emphasis on a little bit, and uh, just uh, just see what the results were. I took uh, two of my craft, the Red Hawk and the Club Tail. I made Sidewinder only equipped versions. Yeah, and just uh, saw what happened. So have the Sidewinders been toned down? Um, maybe, possibly a little bit? Um, I don't know. I think the flare placement on my craft is probably pretty terrible. I didn't give it much thought when I was uh, first designing these. Um, yeah. But they still seem pretty deadly to me. I mean, on a couple of occasions there were some uh, sort of more proximity hits when I'd expect um, that to be a direct hit. Um, but I think all signs are that they're going to remain pretty lethal for the time being. Uh, it's still a work in progress though, and I'm very excited to see what makes it into the uh, to the final version. Uh, that said, what uh, what are the plans for the future of BD Armory? As I said, still a work in progress, still plenty of stuff up in the air, still no way of knowing what exactly will make its way through to the next uh, official release of BD Armory. I'm told that there are a few things on the table that sound interesting though, an overhaul of the weapon system, uh, an AI that works for VTOLs, a uh, naval vessel AI, and um, one thing that really did catch my eye. Uh, I'm here with uh, Valentina Kerman, just hanging out at the KSC, and if I right click on her, yeah, you see that? That's an inventory slot for a weapon. Yeah, armed Kerbals. It's not 
quite implemented properly yet. A lot of the groundwork's been done. If it if it had been implemented properly, yeah, we'd have seen some of that. But uh, yeah, that's that's kind of exciting. I mean, that I know there was a mod. I'm not sure if it's been updated recently that allowed you to arm your Kerbals, but to have that as part of the core BD armory, that's um, yeah, that's going to be something. Anyway, as I said at the start of the video, I could probably spend about a day going through everything that's been put into this version of BD Armory, or is planned to uh, plan to go into this version of BD Armory, but um, I think we'll just have to leave it there for now, and uh, we'll end it with a little bit of a fight, because my Red Hawks would quite like some revenge against these Prototype 9s, so um, let's get this going and see if they can manage it. Here we go then. I thought it might be fitting to end on kind of like a, a full proper fight just to uh, just see so you get a, a good look at everything that's uh, different with the a uh, the UI as well. Well, and the AI. Missiles going back and forth. It looks like the Red Hawks are doing quite well at the moment. Jebediah, if you got a missile on you, do. Popping some chaff goes well behind. Now, um, the, uh, the Prototype 9s will be switching to... Uh, one of those went a bit close to my liking. We'll be switching to Sidewinders a bit earlier. Two Amrams there. The Prototype 9 dodges them. Jebediah Kerman still popping chaff. Those uh, those missiles go well behind. Although Jebediah's wingman getting a little up close and personal. And there comes... There goes a Sidewinder. And my dreams of revenge are very much starting to look like they're in tatters. Oh, Jebediah's popping, uh, popping flares. That's never a good sign. Turns hard around, trying to dodge gunfire. Has selected, uh, has selected a Sidewinder, so maybe, maybe, maybe a quick revenge kill. Nope. There it comes. Oh! Was that friendly fire? I didn't see Jebediah fire one, unless I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, Valentina is kind of out of the fight now. And unless, uh, unless she distracts Jebediah, which I think she's kind of doing... Oh! But Jebediah gets his, his air intakes ripped off by that other Prototype 9. Yeah, I'm, um... I'm not getting revenge here, am I? Jebediah trying to desperately to pull up. Never mind, Jebediah. We'll, uh, we'll have to sort it out another day. So there we go. That is the uh, that is the new version of BD Armory designed for uh, Scott Manley's um, runway project. Obviously, some of the features in there are designed solely for that uh, for that se series, so not everything is going to make it across to the next version of BD Armory. But uh, I'm hoping quite a lot of the stuff in here will, because it's looking very interesting. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, downloads to both the uh, download links to both the mod and the uh, little manual I've been using will be in the description. Um, yeah, if you've enjoyed today's video, please consider liking, subscribing, uh, maybe following me on Twitter, getting involved with the Discord, maybe even, if you fancy it, supporting me through the Patreon. Um, I've uh, rejigged the tiers a little bit, so uh, if you do fancy that, hopefully you'll find something in there for you. Um, I will be back soon with some more BD Armory, but uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.